In this section, we'll create the vehicle business object that contains attributes that describe a vehicle. Then we'll define its relationship to a policy. A relationship is an XCP designer term that's used to describe a data type that maintains the relational index between two types. Relationship objects can be defined as one-way, two-way, one-to-one, one-to-many, and so on. These relationship types can also have custom attributes defined. They're a powerful concept in XCP Designer because they allow us to define rich data models that can be easily navigated and even searched. To begin, let's configure the vehicle business object. The Object Models tab. Expand the Business Objects node. Right click on Business Objects and select New Business Object. For Label, enter Vehicle and click Finish. In the Attributes tab, let's add the attributes for our vehicle objects. In the Types pane on the right, in the Pick List section, double click on the Vehicle Make Pick List. This will add it to the vehicle attributes on the left. The Label and System Name in the Properties pane are OK, so we won't change those. Double click the String Data Type and change the label from New String to Model. Now double click on the integer data type so we can add the year. For the label, enter year. Notice the red X next to the system name field in the properties pane. This is telling us that we've entered a system name that's reserved. Let's change it to vehicle underscore year. Now let's add another string data type for the VIN number field, since it's common for automobile manufacturer VIN numbers to include character. In the Types pane on the right, let's scroll down to the Relationships section to configure the relationship between these vehicle objects and policy objects to which they might be attached. Double click on the Policy Relationship. Notice how there is now a relationship defined between vehicle objects and the policy objects. By default, the relationship is a one-way, one-to-one relationship. We'd like a little more flexibility, so we'll adjust the attributes here. In the Properties Relation pane at the bottom, select the two-way relationship type, and then select the Many-to-One icon. This will allow multiple vehicle objects to be associated with a single policy Notice how you can change the name of the relationship to help you describe the kind of relationship it is. In this case, we'll just leave it like that. Remember that we said that relation objects can have their own custom attributes? Well, let's define three custom attributes for these relations, start date, end date, and notes. We need these attributes if a particular vehicle on a policy is a temporary policy, like if you need to provide temporary coverage for a rental car for a week or so. Under the Vehicle Attributes, select the Policy Relationship. Now drag a Date and Time attribute from the data types to under the Policy Relation. We can't use Double Click this time. If we did, it would just go in as a Vehicle Attribute instead of as a Relationship Custom Attribute. Let's call it Start Date. Now let's drag another Date Time attribute and name it End Date. And finally, a String, and let's call that one notes. In the properties string pane at the bottom, let's widen the notes field to 1024 characters. Okay, we're done with the business object configuration. So let's save and close the vehicle model tab and get ready for the next step, which will be defining a stateless business process.